Hello, my name is Dan Callen from Coherent, and today we'll be looking at the OBIS laser box, which holds five OBIS lasers for thermal management and full features and control. The Coherent laser box for OBIS lasers helps to hold five OBIS lasers and complete the thermal management and interface I.O. The laser box offers a plethora of features that include a USB connector for remote access to all the lasers. The USB connector is addressable so each of the five lasers can be controlled independently through one USB port. The power coming into the laser box is a single connector. This is 12 volts of DC power that will operate each of the five lasers, all of them simultaneously, as well as the thermal management. Every laser box is included with an interlock connector. This is a laser safety feature and can be opened or closed for the laser safety. Each laser box com comes complete with a power on off switch to turn the laser box on and off. The key switch is an important safety feature for laser safety. It has a standby position as well as a on position for laser emission and a indicator next to it stating its status. The key switch can be removed in the off position and then when turned on the key switch cannot be removed. Each of the five lasers have separate analog and digital modulation inputs. Analog to the left on a SMB connector Digital is on the right on a SMB connector. There is a status indicator for each separate laser. The status indicator can tell you if the laser is on or off, in standby mode, or has a fault. Each laser, again, has separate inputs that can be run asynchronously from each other for complete digital and analog modulation control. There is also a RS-232 connector that you can run to your host computer, again allowing each laser to be addressed separately, commanded separately, through RS-232. The laser box, as you can see, has these three exhaust vents. That is for thermal management. There is a fan pulling air through the laser box, keeping the products cool. This is complete thermal management for five OBIS lasers. Inside the OBIS laser box, by removing eight screws, the cover can be removed, and you can see the five separate heat sinks for the OBIS lasers. So inside the laser box, we have one, two, three, four, and five separate heat sinks to mount the OBIS laser directly onto. To connect power and all the communication signals to the laser, there's five separate SDR connectors, one, two, three, four and five that will carry the power, all the communications and the modulation signals to the laser. This is a full featured circuit board that helps to combine again the communications and bring the analog and digital modulation inputs from the front panel to the laser system. So the OBIS laser box does include strain relief to help support the fiber cable as it exits the laser box. And this can simply be four screws are removed and then the strain relief bar can be lifted off. So here we buy the OBIS lasers separately for installation into the laser box. OBIS fiber pegtail lasers ship with a fiber on the tray and the laser mounted to the tray. And now to remove a OBIS laser from the tray we want to take the removable zip ties and loosen them so that we can take the fiber off the tray. Again, we'll take the OBIS FP laser off the shipping tray with the four screws that are provided. And these will be the same screws that we get to use to install it into the heat sink. Now the laser gets put onto the OBIS heat sink. The SDR connector needs to be connected to the laser, which just slides directly in. 
And then holding the laser and the connector together are the four screws again, which also help for the heat transfer. Now when tightening an OBIS laser to a heat sink, always softly tighten the screws. You don't want to torque them down until all four of them have bottomed out. And then with all four screws in place, you can do a final snug to get the laser onto the heat sink. OBIS lasers have very flat base plates and the OBIS laser box also has very flat heat sinks, so there's no need for any additional materials between the heat sink of the laser and the heat sink of the laser box. And then after the laser is installed, again to complete the strain relief, the back plate can be installed to help capture the fiber as it exits the laser box. And then with that screwed in place, the fibers are protected. So now that we've installed the OBIS laser into the laser box, the next step would be to apply the DC power supply, 12 volts to the laser box through this connector and external power supply. There's a power switch on the power supply and then you turn on the laser box with the button there. And now you can hear the fans start to work. The thermal management is engaged. The laser is in standby mode with this blue indicator here, as well as the laser box is in standby mode. Turning the key switch on will start laser emission, going from a standby mode to a start mode. You can see that the laser box is reporting a green OK status for the box. And now we have the laser emission starting on the laser itself. And of course the laser box does have the lid that can be reinstalled and eight screws securing the lid down and that completes the laser box assembly. So it's a very convenient way again to mount up to five different OBIS lasers with thermal management and complete control.